welcome back guys to another episode of Never Alone. We got to this point last time. The girl arrived in her house. She was terribly wrong. She was a terrible man had arrived while the girl was away. I was searching for something. I was searching for something. Until he found it. I was totally devastated. I was totally devastated. Well. It is said that with each gust of wind, the powdery snow blew in every direction. Right, so she's currently just coming back. The girl could not believe what she saw. Everything in sight was destroyed. The people were gone. The people were gone. The people were gone. The people were gone. How could this be? I couldn't have been just in the blizzard. Oh, so an entire tr village has been destroyed. Oh. Thank you. Amidst the burning debris, <laughs> giant loon spirits appeared. Filled to the side of the girl's loss. Well, there's something down there. But the loons weren't the only ones to arrive. Strangers and people emerge from underground. To scavenge from the ruins of the village. Oh shit. Go. Oh, we, we can run when we're going that way. Right, up she goes. And across the snow to the next part of the story. So, basically, this girl's lost a tribe. There's little men running around. Ooh. to the stork's head. And around. Yoik. This is quite simple. Here, come here, granddaughter. Said the owl man. Ah. So I take it we're going to find other tribes. Ah. How does he know me? I thought the girl. Because I have been watching over you. If only I had my drum. I could help you find the ones who did this to your village. Have I, have I got to go find your drum then? I'll take it. It's very nice. Very nice mask. Or an alien. Either or. Ah. Oh. 
the heartbeat of the community. We'll watch this then. Drama is something that's common to all cultures in Alaska. All cultures have a drum that may have some stylistic differences or differences in the materials that's made, but it's still a recognition of life and vitality. And the drum mirrors the heartbeat. And when you continue drumming soon, it will be in line with your heartbeat. Because that's what it's supposed to be, the heartbeat of the community. And it symbolizes vitality. And it's, it's the most tremendous feeling to be in a room and to have one long row of all the drummers and to have that feeling of unity, everyone beating in harmony, the drum beat in unison. It's the most beautiful feeling. And to know that you're connected, you're on the land that you are connected to. And even if you grew up outside of the community, that which is in you comes from this area. And it's, it's the greatest feeling. It's kind of sad in a way though how these people have sort of I mean, I'm not talking about it how these people have like been integrated to modern society I know that's not really a bad thing but at the same time I suppose in a way it's showing sort of telling their story in the form of this and then obviously people can um, do more to try and sort of be more conservative of what they're doing obviously with the polar ice caps disappearing and all the plastic that's going into the ocean and all the destruction that some of us are causing. I'm not necessarily just blaming us all but obviously we can all do our own part in saving it, everything. And obviously these people... Oh. <coughs> Grab a moving object. Ah. Right, we've got another thing to watch of the little people, so we'll watch that one now. They're just like other people. They just happen to be very small and extremely strong. These are stories that are common throughout Alaska. And it's normally that people are you know, size from your elbow to the tips of your fingers, and they possess superhuman strength. So they may be tiny, but they can carry a whole caribou. And if you go up north, and you talk to a number of the people in the community, they'll talk about having seen the little people. There's a place at home that we know, but we don't profess it to anybody. But it's not like the boogeyman. They can be mischievous, they can be ornery, or they can be helpers. And every now and then, we might have the opportunity to see them, especially if they want us to see them. The fact that it's across Alaska really tells you something about our history and how we interacted with nature around us. So they are the little people. This way, then. so these little people are basically like mischievous little sort of spirits or entities or sort of people slash creatures that sometimes help, sometimes don't, <laughs> depending on how they are feeling. Chuck the rope down for the girl. 
up and we can. I love as well how you can switch between different characters. It's like one character can do one thing and then another character. I see, and if you didn't soon as he was making all the noise. Oh my god. Oh, that floor gets squished. Oh. That wasn't me. Oh god. We're doing a terrible job at this. Run away. Hello little people. Do the little people not want to talk to me? Talk to those little people. Why are you run away? I don't know what I need to do. Right, so come over here and just check. Ah, the, girl. the girl that smarted some the people. And found the owl's man's drum. Oh, right, so now we've got to return the drum to the owner. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah, I see. We've got to return the drum to the owner. Oh no no no! Get the fox. Up goes the fox, and across, and down the rope. Oh no! Wrong wrong bud. Right. Yep, you're fine. So it's okay, Mr. Fox. You just casually sit there and watch me struggle. It's fine. It's fine. Honestly. I insist, don't move. Up we go. I don't know what I the girl returned the the drum. Drum. Was so happy. I'm so proud of the girl. I see 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 the the owl man said, I have kept this safe for you. Oh, not quite sure what that is. Ah, he's got his drum tune going. Got ya. <laughs> Forward. Watch. Bowler. Achievement unlocked. Vi village historian. Ah, so this is going to explain what that thing is that he gave us. The bowler is what we call Kilimitan. And the Kilimitan is made out of braided sinew tied out to some heavy bone which you could twirl. In my case, we're catching ducks. When we were out, oh, so I'm okay. whaling. Sometimes the ducks start flying. And they're good for duck hunting. You know, uh, if you're a whaling crew, you can't make too much noise. So you can't use a shotgun for um, getting some duck soup handy, you know? So bolo was a really handy weapon to use for catching ducks. You know, the ducks fly in, you throw it up and tangles up the bird, and down they go. I 
It's a really clever way as well how they managed to... Because when you think about it, there's not a lot in this sort of Antarctica region. And considering they've managed to not only survive, but almost thrive on the fact that they've virtually got nothing. And um, managed to make weapons, clothing, shelter, families... Is, is quite an incredible thing really when you consider like I know me personally the slightest bit of heat and I'm, I feel like I'm dying so considering these people like minus 40 degrees celsius is just an average day in their summer unlocks another spirit animal that's going to give us a lift. Oh, we need, we need to wait for it to solidify there. So you can't jump on these unless it's solid. Come on, fox. What? Slidey. I don't, I don't know what I'm meant to be doing here. Oh, got you. Right, use your initiative. Just giving us this new toy to use. Oh no, we're finding more fire. Damn. Is the two continued on their journey. <laughs> but we'll wait for this one to pass. Because I know they can be quite strong and they do push them back. Ching. Right. It's about to come again. You can see it when the snow changes direction. It like um, goes sort of to the right and then to the left and then back. There you go. We just change character. Oh, we crawl through here. Oh, so it's following me. Talk about trying to make a mountain out of a molin. Oh! Uh, swap to the girl. And sh -ching. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave this episode here for now. I hope you are enjoying this informative Never Alone. And that's all for now, so I'll see you later.